Hello, my name is Aaron Heinemann, the Inorganic Product Line Leader for Perkin Elmer. I'm here to introduce the new Perkin Elmer Syngistics for inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer software. Syngistics was designed with your workflow in mind to make it as easy as possible to use the software. The software is a ribbon based environment that works from left to right. From the instrument panel, you can start up the plasma by pressing the on button. Once the plasma is on, let's start by performing a system optimization using the Synergistic Smart Tune wizard. Simply click on Smart Tune and then click on the Optimize button. Smart Tune runs a series of intelligent optimizations, proceeding dynamically until satisfactory performance, sensitivity, and background levels are achieved. If you prefer, you can update the optimization routine however you wish. Now that optimizations are complete, the software will produce a hard copy of the performance check report and provide all the detailed information of the optimizations here. In addition to providing an optional printout of the performance check data, Synergistics records the performance data into its internal logbook. The Synergistics logbook stores the results of the optimization together with all the relevant instrument parameters used in each optimization. This creates a continuous performance history of the instrument, which you can use to track for instrument performance trends over time and to potentially troubleshoot any problems. To chart any parameter, just click on the column header. Up to two different units can be plotted on the y-axis at a time. In this example, counts per second is on the primary y-axis and power, or watts, is on the secondary y-axis. Now that the system has passed its performance check, we can proceed with the sample analysis. Samples can be analyzed one of two ways, manually or batch-wise. Today I will demonstrate the batch analysis function. To run these samples, you simply click on the top left corner to select them all and then click on the Analyze Batch button. If a priority sample comes in during your analysis, you can always add it to the run by clicking on the Priority button. This will ensure that your sample is run next. You can also add additional samples to the run list by using the append button. Now that our analysis is complete, we can examine the data. This is the reporter screen, which summarizes the analytical data. As you can see, there is a snapshot of the calibration. To get more details, you can click on the small calibration plot to open the full calibration window. In the reporter screen, you can see raw intensities, net intensities, concentrations, unfactor concentrations, quality control results, and very importantly, a chart that shows you how the internal standards perform during the run. In addition, if your method included total quant data, you would have total quantitative or semi-quantitative results shown in these tabs. For ease of exporting and further data review, there is a one-click export all button that will export everything you see in the reporter to an Excel file. In order to make the Nexing series even easier to use, the software comes preloaded with a number of analytical methods to cover a wide range of applications, including environmental, biomonitoring, food, pharmaceutical, and semiconductor. 